The Banu Defender is another alien light fighter, and it is gnarly looking. Now, if you don't know, gnarly is a good thing. It is awesome. It also packs quite a punch. It's got four primary weapon hard points that are natively gimbled with size 2 weapons on them. Uh, you can ungimble them and get size 3 weapons on them if you prefer to play that way. It's got a ramp, which we stand ramps. Oh, it's just exquisite. It's got this cool, bony interior, two beds, and two seats. We love to see it. I'm going to sit in the left seat. It has 38k shields, which is vastly more than any other light fighter, and it has good regen. It has four missiles, which isn't a lot, but is pretty good. Better than none, that's for sure. Ooh. Love it. Let's watch that again. So far, the alien ships all have the coolest landing gear animations. Oh, yeah. So aside from just looking cool and having this dope green trail behind it, the Banu Defender has these four Tachyon Cannons. They are slow to shoot, but do about 1k collectively, and have a faster travel speed than a lot of the other weapons. So, if you're familiar with first-person shooters, you might say this is more like hit scan and less like a projectile. If you don't like these slow cannons, and that do about 1k total on hit, you could always just replace them. Uh, and like I said earlier, the size 3 mounts, uh, you can fit size 3 mounts uh, if you ungimble the weapons, which means you can easily get more than 2k damage, which allows it to outstrip a lot of the other light fighters. That, in conjunction with its fat 38k shields, honestly makes it one of the the top tier light fighters in the game. Plus, you can have a friend sit in the co-pilot seat and you might think, well, you can't divvy up the weapons. That's true, but there are lots of things that a co-pilot can do when you're in a space battle. Also, because of the interior of the ship, the beds allow you to create your own respawn point, which is convenient, even if you don't use it that often, and you can fit boxes in there if you get bored of dunking on AI or your bounties, which you will be doing in this ship. So when testing out this ship in combat, I discovered it's incredibly nimble, which means if you wanted to ungimble the weapons and still be able to track enemies, you would be able to. Um, unfortunately, I had a problem, a bug, where I couldn't uh, target enemies, which means I couldn't use my missiles and couldn't see the the little hit hit circle. Um, that is not a problem with the ship, just so you know. That is just my internet having a bad day and not being able to connect to the servers uh, properly. Uh, even still, though, I was able to destroy an AI cutlass in just a matter of moments, um, which honestly felt like a pretty big achievement because there was no <laughs> heads-up display guidance. With its generous shield package, 
It's four large weapon hard points. You barely even notice the fact that you only have four missiles. There's room for a friend to come along with you and participate in fights, even if it's just bouncing around your power outputs or overclocking weapons. And there's room to do boxes and log out from space in your bed, making this, the Banu Defender, a more versatile light fighter than many. It also, if you don't like the Tachyon weapon's speed or rate of fire, you can easily replace them. If you ungimbal the weapons, you can actually get well over 2k DPS, making this incredibly lethal. Also, it's nimble enough that you can ungimbal the weapons and not have a miserable time in combat. Although, I definitely understand why you might want to just leave them gimbaled. And even if you do, you can put on laser repeaters and maybe a mix of distortion repeater, a little sprinkle of distortion, which is my favorite way to do it. And it's still incredibly lethal. All in all, I give the Banu Defender big fat double thumbs up for being really awesome looking, having a weird but really cool alien interior, being able to play with your friends, and having an incredible combat abilities.